Shalom and welcome to Two Bits of Torah. This year is entitled, I Cut a Bagel. Garlic bagel with a meat knife. Can I still have the bagel with cream cheese? This is an interesting Shaila. The person that's in the Shaila is certainly on target that normally when we cut something and it's cold and the knife is clean, there's no problem. But we do know when you have something harif, like onion, garlic, then even when you cut it cold, there's a problem. There's many stringencies with harif food, both when you cook it in a pan, a pot, and when you cut it, there's humorous stringencies that apply. In the case of harif, sharp foods that don't apply to other foods, and one of them is that when you cut it, there's a problem. So two things need to be looked in of this case by the bagel. When you're cutting, the bagel, the knife is just going ahead and cutting the bagel itself. You say, yeah, but there's, there's garlic pieces on top of the bagel, and they're gonna fall down onto the knife. The stringency of harif, something harif, transferring taste out of a knife, is when it's called duchtat sakina, when you're putting pressure directly from the knife onto the harif object. So you cut an onion with a dairy knife that is a classic case where the tension from the knife and between the knife and the onion will draw the onion will draw the taste out of the knife even though it's cold. But over here the tension is between the knife and the bagel. And it could be that as you cut the bagel, some of those pieces are falling down. But that's not you're not cutting through those pieces. That's number one. Number two, question how those pieces even consider harif anymore if they go into the baking process. In Sadi Vav, in Yoridea, Petre Tshuva Dal, it talks about the fact that when you cook something harif, then it loses its harif style. You cook an onion in a power of pot, and then you cut the onion. It's not, I mean, there's not harif anymore. It's not considered harif. So it's another fact to take into account. You see, yeah, but this wasn't cooked, this was baked. So it's a good question. Dr. Chuva, the moon catcher, writes it's Likeda. If you roast it in a pot also, it will lose its harif status. So it could be that the garlic would lose its harif status when it's being baked in the oven as well. It takes away its status. But either way, the first point certainly applies that the, the, the cutting, the tension was done on the, on the bagel, not on the garlic. So therefore... As the famous expression says, you can have your bagel and eat it too. Shalom.